Hello, hello, it's me, Tara, the Mud Creek Stitcher. How are you, ladies? And I know it's ladies because when I go back and look on my YouTube, you can find out who's watching. It's all women, and we're all 50 and older, mm -hmm. so it's a great age. So anyways, um, how are you ladies doing? Uh, glad to see you all. I'm wearing a new shirt, Ode to the Ada Cross Stitcher. Um, I got this t-shirt from some other floss tubers who had made it, and I can link them below. It's unfinished stitches or, or stitchers. They're really funny. Uh, my dog is being my dog. So anyways, um, how are y'all doing? How's your stitching going? Are you sick of stitching? Or are you like, I am on fire, girl, and I got like four finishes and whatever. Um, I'm just stuck in whip land. That's where I'm at. So today's video, I'll just be showing my whips because nothing's finished. I just... I just slowly, slowly working away on stuff. And then, of course, I got to throw in new stuff. So, you know, that's how it works. Um, anyways, uh, life updates. Things are busy, very busy. As you obviously, if you've watched any of my videos, you know school is getting more intense. As the end comes near, all the kids are, I mean, they, they can sense it like a feral, I don't know, vermint or whatever. They know the end is near and... Um, teachers and students like we're all like Rrr. we all know the end is near so um, pray for us please so we survive and um, so school's wrapping up here in the next month and then of course my husband is strip tilling right now which means he's out with the tractor plowing strips in the ground getting ready to plant corn and we're slowly uh, getting ready for my son's wedding, which is very exciting. And she, um, there was a bridal shower for her last weekend that I went to, so it was a lot of fun. Got a lot of lovely stuff, and I love her family so much. They're a lot like us, so it's just, it's wonderful. So we are very blessed, blessed beyond measure. And I've always said it was going to take a very special girl to be with my son. Not like, oh, only the most special girl can be with my son. No, no, no. It's like, oh, you've got to be a special girl to be with my son. I, I'm i sorry. I'm sorry. I tried my best. So we are very thankful for her. So she's been very good for him and for us. So anyways, moving on. Uh, oh, and Friday night, Lori, not Lori Holt. Sorry, Lori. But you could be Lori Holt status if you wanted to be. Uh, she came and we met on Zoom with uh, Megan, who had asked me to do um, a sell on Come Into My Garden. I was just looking, going, I don't think I grabbed Come Into My Garden. That's one of my whips. So I may have to stop this and go grab it. So anyways, that was fun getting to meet you, Megan, and love her southern drawl and we only had an hour of free Zoom time. I didn't know that they charge for Zoom now. Do you remember a few years ago during COVID, you could be on Zoom as long as you want? Well, now you only get one hour. So we had to wrap it up quick, but we hope to meet again. So that was a lot of fun. No stitching happened. We just kept showing each other stuff. That was a lot of fun. All right. So moving on, um, I am still stuck in... Uh, this happy morning i mean it's not bad to be stuck in this happy morning because every morning should be happy especially you have a cup of coffee ready to go right uh, but i am still stuck i'm getting closer and i appreciate everyone's encouragement on keeping going i've had to change this down here because in the pattern this is over one so it's this originally was supposed to be on linen, 36 count, but obviously I'm an Ada stitcher. So um, through encouragement, through uh, Handmade by Sarah, I asked her how she does it because she's strictly an Ada stitcher. She's like, yeah, I have to change things. So that's what I've been doing, kind of moving and shuffling things to make it work. And it is, believe it or not, less grass to stitch, but there's still a lot of grass. I apologize now. I'm not taking anything really out of the Q-snap. I made a couple things, but yeah, not everything. So so here I am on this happy morning. I am starting to fill in the bottom. I shared on Instagram and Facebook, Major Boo Boo with the berries. 
So I'm getting so close to being done. I, I was like, I'm going to get these berries done. And I got the trees done. I moved over this piece, which should be on top of this tree, I believe, or this tree. But I moved her here, and I'm like, I might put a little snowflake here. But I'm like, I'm almost done. I'm going to get those berries done. Well, I chose the wrong colors. And I blame everyone on Flosstube who's talked about Gilmore Girls, because there's a lot of you stitching the Gilmore Girl piece that shows the seasons. And I'm like, is Gilmore Girls that good? It really is that good. So I am... Yeah, not getting a lot done because I want to watch the show. So I screwed up the colors. I put the colors, there's three different colors of red, and I put two in the wrong order. So I still need to rip this one out. And then it, and then I found out I don't have enough of one color, so I had to reorder that. So that was a bummer. So I'm waiting on that. So in the meantime, just trying to fill in the grass. This was six threads here. Six threads. Just that little bit was six threads. That was two hours just trying to do that. And maybe it's just because I'm slow, probably. I'm sorry for my dog. She's being temperamental. So this happy morning, I thought I'd be done by February. Oh, the fool I am, the fool I am. So I am sorry, I'm not done. But I'm getting closer. I am no amazing stitcher. I'm just your average girl asking you for help to get through this piece so and I appreciate all your help okay then of course I still pull it out um, with Becky uh, my new friend Becky uh, she had asked if I wanted to do uh, his eye on the sparrow and I'm like of course I've had it for like three years of course I need to do it it's gonna be slow going and you know I was like, I need to try and make assignments for myself. So I did. And I'll show you. I don't have the chart. It's in my house somewhere. Where that is, no idea. I will find it. I might be 82 and I might be forced out of this house going into a nursing home by my kids. But I will find it someday. But here's what I did. I cut it up, chopped it up into tiny little pieces numbered the top, counted the sides, and if I stick to this, and if, if I stick to it, it looks like it would take 143 days to get it done. But as we know, I probably won't stick to it. I'll probably have laxes and stuff. But by my calculations, it would take me, what did I say, because there's 56 weeks in a year. If I stitched out one day a week, every week, and actually got one of the assignments done, I could get this done in about three years. Yeah, but we know that probably won't happen, but I'm gonna try. So I'm gonna try and stick to the assignments. I'm already ahead on my assignments, and this is where I'm at. So I um, am doing DMC. I am pulling colors. They don't line up with the DMC she originally put long ago. I don't know why. Maybe somebody knows why. So I'm just kind of assigning DMC colors where I think they'll go and where I like them. And that's where I got to. I got to here. And I'm here and there's a basket I need to do down here. And this is on Dirty Teacup. Once again, 18 count from Needle and Flax. My first Needle and Flax piece ever. So that's kind of exciting. That was very exciting to get that. It's also very expensive, so I probably won't do that very often. Uh, but I also ordered a yard in her defense. So, yeah. If you order a yard, it's going to be a lot. Okay, then I decided to do a start yesterday because I wanted to. And I've been wanting to start it for like two months, and I finally got all my stuff in. Just a second. All my magnets are sticking together. Okay. You would think I had the pattern, but I don't have the pattern handy, so I am going to stop this video. I'll be right back. Oh, geez, I got magnets sticking to things everywhere. I'll be right back, and I will keep going. You won't even notice. Okay, I am back. So, th this one is a brand new start, and it's my brand new bag that I got. I ordered it from Fab Shabby Rose on Etsy. What an adorable little tag. 
It is in the Jane Austen fabric, and this is, of course, a Jane Austen pattern. And I've seen several people do it, especially the Satellite Stitcher and Megan, no, Megan the Satellite Stitcher and Bridgen the Museum Stitcher. And it's this here. And I just saw, oh, her name's Holly. I There's two Hollies. She's the Holly whose grandson was in the hospital but is out now. She's gotten this done as well. Oh my gosh, my dog's got the zoomies. So, anyways, so I am using, let me pull it out. It's Bestitch Me Silk because I'd never used it before, so I really wanted to try it. Let me get out the pretty skein. So it's Bestitch Me Silk called Valentine. It's very soft. And I never thought I would do this, but I am finding that I like the one over one. So um, I put it on Bestitch, I'm trying to make sure it's the right direction. This is Bestitch Me Fabric and it is called petunia so i have valentine floss on petunia fabric isn't that cute i just love it and so anyways bridge in the museum stitcher and megan the satellite stitcher they had done kind of a i don't know if the word's monochromatic i don't know if that's right but they did pink on pink and it was so cute and i love pink so i am doing the same thing um, just a second it is a distractible Sunday. It has been very distracting all morning and still is. So anyways, I saw this done by those lovely ladies in the pink on pink. And I love the quote. And it's from Emma. I've never actually read Emma, but I've watched several movies of Emma. And they, uh, Jacob talks about it in here and is, oops, don't show the pattern, but in the introduction. Sorry, it's a peep show. So anyways, keeping it in my Jane Austen bag and I went ahead and sprung for this as well. It's, it's a little thread bed, but it's so cute. I'm like, you know what? I'm not gonna keep it just in the book because look at, hold your needles, hold your thread, nice little snap. I'm like I'm going to, use this for everything not just here so anyways that was my new start yesterday and I was enjoying it and I'm doing it I, that's where I got off track I'm doing it one over one square one over one and my X's look so much nicer I never thought I would do that but I'm doing it I'm doing it and I'm living on the edge what can I say okay another whip I have assignments for this one as well and this was Megan, who asked me to do a stitch along with her. It's come into my garden, and I've split it up into assignments. She isn't necessarily doing assignments. She's already completed, like, the border to make sure it connects. So she's way ahead of me already. But, um, you know, she's kind of doing her own pace, and I'm trying to do weekly an assignment because I want to see it actually done. So I cut into assignments. And I got assignment two done. And pretty much I'm trying to finish a page. I'm trying to incorporate my assignments into pages and get them done. Okay, so this is on the called for fabric, only um, in the Blackbird pattern it was linen. And this is picture this plus Ada, 18 count Ada. And I am doing it. Like I said, not only the um, Jane Austen pattern, but this one as well, one thread over a square. And I love it. The variegation is just amazing. And my X's actually look really nice, which is unusual for me. So now I'm like, now I understand why everybody's like D one over one, one over one, not one over one, but one over two or one thread. It really, you know, especially because this is weak style works um, thread and the variegation, as we know, there's a lot and it's so pretty. So I really, I am enjoying it a lot. And that is Oscar that the borders made of the dreaded Oscar. And I actually like it. So 
Be careful what you say, Tara, right? Be careful what you say. God's going to get you in the end. Then another whip. I don't have the pattern, but I think a lot of you will recognize it. It is Chubby Bunny. It is from Jeanette Douglas. She was one of the featured designers at the Jingle Ball. That lady was so fun to listen to. She's just a happy, happy-go-lucky lady. And just, you can tell her staff enjoys her. And wow, it's just fun. Her story was fun to listen to. So this is on, this is 18 count, Ada or 16 count. I can't remember. And it's uh, just just another sampler. And I got it from the kitten stitcher. But I don't remember who who it is exactly. So anyways, I am not doing called for because I don't have them. I'm just doing what I have. And I'm just picking out the colors. The pattern calls for a butterfly here, which I will do. And then some other little foliage up here. And then you're supposed to put 2024 here. And then there's another flower and some branch. I'm not going to do that here. I'm going to put my granddaughter's name here. Kind of finish this up and I will turn it into a pillow because I asked all of you what you thought I should do and then everyone agreed a pillow and somebody had a fantastic idea but of course I'd already done the bunny and I'm like I'm not stopping but what I wish I would have not started yet and her idea was do it on a make this on a really big eight account like 10 count or something like that or bigger and use pearl cotton and I'm like oh my gosh that would have been perfect for her for my little two-year-old granddaughter, but oh wow, live and learn. So I'm just like, you know what, next time if I do this, I'm going to do that for her. So it is super cute. It is a fast stitch because yesterday all I had was pretty much the bunny and I got all this done. Yesterday I was so tired, so exhausted. I, I was just numb. So I just sat most of the day yesterday and I literally stitched on like six things. <laughs> I was just like, I'm not getting up. Nobody can make me get up. I'm not going to get up, so I'm not going to. So there. And I didn't. And it was wonderful. All right. So anyway, so I stitched on a lot of a lot of things that I just wanted to stitch on. Then the next one, of course, is this whole assignment thing started with the Feast of Friendship, which uh, Lori and I decided to do. And now we are in it to win it. And I will actually take this... A little bit out of the Q snap. No, I won't because I don't have it in the Q snap all the way, so it's even easier. So she has the house all done. She's working on the fruit bowl. I have the fruit bowl all done, and I am working on the house, and it is Feast of Friendship. And her stitching on linen is absolutely gorgeous. My stitching on Ada, eh. There's a lot to be desired, but. I'm just to the point of, if I hold it back here, will anybody see how bad it really is? So, yeah. I still love it. It's so pretty. And when it's framed and hanging, I'm not going to care. Nobody's going to care. Well, I may care, but I'll get over it. Because I just really am excited just to have it done and hung up. So, yeah. We worked on that the other night a little bit. And got that done. Well, not done progress was made so that is feast of friendship i should show you the pattern she um, has done the house in one color blue it, it has called for for three excuse me so uh we agreed she would do the one blue and i was going to do all three blues we thought it'd be fun to put them together and compare the blues just to see what it's like this pattern has been around for quite a while. So many of you have already done it. So many of you have it in your stash. So many of you are planning to do it. It is just a classic design. It's so pretty. So that is my blackbird. That blackbird. Two blackbirds. And then this morning before church, I pulled out this lovely piece. It's going to just be slow, slow, slow. And that's okay. And it is The Lord's Prayer by Leela Studio. And it is pronounced Leela Studio. And I know that ring light, you can see it. But it is very pretty. I've got a huge pile here. And I'm still on the border. Green. But 
Um, gonna get her done. I will get it done. And I'm not gonna pull it out. I'll just straighten it up a little bit. But I'm working on the border still. Now that's where I'm at. I got this done this morning here before church. So I need to get more flowers. I want to get more green in, get more flowers, more green, more flowers. That's just how I do it. And then I'll work on all of this. There's another Babel. Babel. Yeah, I'm tired. Baby. Angel baby here. So, not a house. It is really pretty though. And I'm excited to have that hung up someday in my house as well. Because the Lord's Prayer is a great prayer. And it's like one of the few scriptures I actually have memorized, right? Okay, and then I was trying to decide, organize my thoughts here. Okay, something else I'm almost done with is a quilt. If you don't care, then that's fine. But I am going to show it. I bought this from Shabby Fabrics. It is for my son and his future wife. And... Here it is, and I'm going to add borders to make it a little bit bigger. But as you can see, it's just so pretty. Um, his future wife's favorite color is blue. So I'm just going to do this in parts. Just kind of hold it up. And it has quotes from the Psalms. I'll put this, if you can see that one. And it has the Psalm that it was in. It's a, it was a very fast, because uh, it's a little lap quilt or a hanging quilt, but I, like I said, I'm going to put borders on the outside and make it bigger. So they can actually use it to snuggle up and cover up with, with God's word covering them. So, so I got that done. All right, now, haul, shopping, stuff I wanted. Um, I did go to Hobby Lobby because I had bought decorations to get ready for, because we're decorating the rehearsal supper. And I ran across this box and I was like, oh my gosh, that is so stinking cute. It's a recipe box, Hobby Lobby. I think it was six or seven dollars. And I just, there were different colors and I just loved it. I have a whole, I had a little tin can next to my, uh, next, it's next to my stitching spot and I'm always digging in it and stuff's always falling out. So I'm like, let's do this. So I grabbed it and I've filled it up with all my stuff that I like to have on hand. And it sits by my desk. And no, I don't have any recipes in it. But maybe someday. But I just thought, it's so cheap. I don't... I love those needle cases. If you Have you seen like Laura and Brenda... They have those hobby house, those berry needle case. I mean, they're gorgeous, but I'm like, I don't want to spend that money. So this was a way to kind of have my own little special case. Plus it's magnetic, which is nice because I'm sticking all my stuff to it that I need. Because I always have needle miners I want to grab and use and so on and so forth. Okay, and then this was an unplanned purchase. I think it was supposed to be in my huge haul from the last video, but then uh, something must happen. It got delayed, and it is Plum Street Samplers, the flag thing. It is, I'm just so glad there was a whoopsies and it still came. It's so pretty. Look at that. Once again, though, heavy, heavy stitching. But what's the bonus of this? Oh, I know. It's 123 by 109. So it's not huge. Not like her other one. So anyways, my debate in my mind now is when I actually get done with this happy morning, do I want to continue doing another huge Plum Street or do something smaller like this? Because I did start um, Live on Little. I mean, I did start the border. But it's like... I don't know if I'm ready to face that yet. I think I'd like to do something small, especially since I've got two huge pieces that I'm working on. So, I don't know. Decisions, right? Oh, woe is me. But anyways, it's beautiful. So I was excited that it showed up, and I'm like, well, I didn't order it, but maybe I did. So, wow. Okay, so let's talk about the share away. I do have a winner 
for coming to my garden. I asked people to comment if they wanted it. And it is Linda Boudreaux. I hope I'm saying that right. She, I know you've been watching me for a while and you're such a blessing, Linda. So anyways, I'm moving stuff around my computer so I can find your name. I will put it in the com in the, not the comments, I'll put a picture maybe at the end. And it's Linda Boudreaux 7154. And she talks about my chubby bunny. She talks about she went off to Niagara Falls, lucky to see the eclipse. So I am happy for you and I hope you enjoy having this in your stash or maybe you'll even stitch it. So I'll get your address to me, email me, and I will be getting it to you. Okay, and then I wanted to talk about my plans for May. So a lot of people are doing Mira May, Mira May, which I'm like, well, I have Mirabilia I need to work on, obviously. I've got two for sure. So I've shown Queen of Freedom before. I would like to get back to her in May and really focus on her. But then I was like, I also want to really focus on my Holly. I want to focus on her as well. I have seen, oh, Sully Stitches, Tara, what a great name. She got this done. It's so pretty. Uh, Samantha Huga Stitcher, she got this done. There was somebody else I saw it had it done and like, I really want to work on it. So it's Holly from the Pixie Couture Collection. I'm like, well, I want to work on that one. And then I was like, well, and I really want to start my harvest one. And here she is. Sorry. I'm trying to get more project bags so I don't rip. It's the Blossom Harvest. I mean, I, she is kitted up. She is ready to roll. I'm like, I want to start her too. So then I was like, you know what? How about this? I do this. I'm going to do Mira May. Now, I'll still work on my assignments. Yes. But I want to do Mira May. But I want to do also... Not just that, I want to work on my Jane Austen piece. And on top of it, there's a Brenda Gervais I want to do. So I'm calling it, I'm going to do My Fair Lady May. So I want to do this lovely lady. I've seen her forever, done, let me pull her out. And it's Queen of Harvest, not Queen of the Harvest. And I've seen several people get her done. She's so pretty. I'm like, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do My Fair Lady May. And if you love the movie, My Fair Lady, A-E-I-O-U. If you don't know that part, then you need to go watch the movie. Um, it's a great movie. And I just thought it just coordinates so well how she turns into a fancy lady at the end of the movie. And we all love our fancy ladies. So I want to work on this and work on my two mirrors and start another mirror. And then... I want to work on my Jane Austen. So I invite you to do My Fair Lady May and work on anything that has to do with a lady. I was just thinking all the hands across the sea samplers that have to do with a girl or a lady. All the quotes and stuff, you know, like the Proverbs 31, um, the proper stitcher Annie, that pattern is so beautiful. It is sold out everywhere. That's one, you know, it's about a lady. So I invite you to join me and pull out those whips that connect to a fancy lady or a woman of God or just whatever, something you want to do or not. It's your choice, but I invite you to join me. So in May, starting May 1st, I am going to get to cracking on my mirrors and have a new start and another new start. So I'm super excited about that. Okay, so this concludes my disjointed video. Um, I don't have any real uh, scripture or Bible portion, really. Um, I am, though, in Revelation. I am almost done. I've been stuck on the 144,000. If you don't know what that is, then you really should read the book of Revelation because I'm trying to figure it all out. Like, I get it. And I thought I understood who they all were, but then I happened across this pastor that gave a whole new direction on it. Now I'm like, I don't know. So anyways, um, but that's where I'm at. And I'm about ready to restart the Bible. And I'm super excited to get back into Genesis again. I just love that book.
I love the Old Testament. I just love it. I heard, oh, I don't know who said it. See, I listen to so much stuff. But somebody said, I don't know if it was on the radio or whatever, but the New Testament and the Old Testament are like mirrors to each other. They mirror each other. Because anything you see in the New Testament, you're probably going to find it in the Old Testament. And if it hasn't been found yet, you'll find it eventually. So I thought that was really cool. And it's very true. Once you read the Bible all the way through, you really do see that. So I encourage you to do that. All right. That is the end of my video. Um, short and sweet. Piles of things that I love. I hope you enjoy your stitching. I hope you don't get burned out or lose your stitchy bug. Although it seems like this time of year a lot of people do just because school gets out, kids are home, you know, gardening, vacations. But winter comes, one of my most favorite seasons, fall and winter, and stitchy will continue. So, anyways, have a wonderful week. Thank you for stopping by as always. I am so blessed by your friendship. Thanks again, and bye.